Have you ever heard that Israel is an apartheid state? I've got a video you need to see. I want you to see a video that I've watched a few times, and I think it's really important that our viewers see this as well. Um, all around the world, there's these chants in the streets, death to Israel, death to Israelis, mm -hmm. some places death to the Jews. And a lot of people use this justification that Israel is an apartheid state. And they're talking about South Africa, which was an apartheid country where whites had this status and, and blacks had this status and mixed race people had this status. And there are all these classes of religion, sorry, of race, but there wasn't equality. The only equality was if you were white and everyone else was screwed. And it was a terrible system. And rightly so, the government was overthrown and they now have a new government. The difference in Israel is, well, let me play the video and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I speak up because I'm an Israeli Arab who grew up in Israel. I grew up uh, to an Arab Bedouin family. Bedouins are nomadic Arabs. My mother doesn't know reading and writing because her parents didn't believe that women should get any education. Yeah. But Israel, after it being established, it forced all children to go to school, including girls. And this is why I have electrical engineering degree mm -hmm. and also masters uh, 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 from Stanford University. I grew up in Israel as an equal citizen. Um, one in five uh, 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 citizens in Israel is Arab. They're, we're getting equal rights. We get welfare, education, healthcare, anything that a Jewish citizen would get. And it's so important for me to, to, to say the truth and, 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 right. and, and voice it because facts matter. And what we see here is a lot of misinformation or maybe well-intentioned ignorance. And this is something that really I, I really care yeah. about. And as I said, seeing what extreme Islam looks like and the calls for violence, I know that these could lead to tragic events, to tragic actions. Wow. Muslim woman with a master's degree, right? In engineering. So she's like a total <laughs> you know, smarty pants. Her mother can't read because under Islam, you don't educate women. And then they lived in Israel and the government requires women to be educated, requires it. You have to go to school. You have to get a degree. You have to be educated. You have to have equality. Okay. But they're the bad ones though, Barry. How dare you? hundred percent. And yet, and yet in Israel, there are Muslims on the Supreme court. There's Muslim judges. <laughs> There's Muslims in the army. My kids know them personally. That's wow. They're fully integrated into the society and 20% of the of the country is Arab with full equality. Social services, medical care, uh, dental care, um, retirement care, and so on. Everything that other Israelis get, they have it. There's no difference. You can live anywhere. That's what upsets so many people. Just as but you know, aside, a lot of people don't know that, Barry. Well, I'll give you an example of someone who didn't know it. Someone who didn't know it was a very, very, very famous conservative with an enormous following, Candace Owens. And she was on a show last week and she said, well, there's apartheid in Israel, too. Like in Jerusalem, there's the Muslim quarter. That's the only place Muslims can can live. That's an example of ignorance. It's called the Muslim quarter. There's an Armenian quarter, a Christian quarter, a Jewish quarter, right? And a Christian quarter. They all have areas that are just called that, but you can live wherever you want. There's no restrictions. There's no ghetto, but people pick up on buzzwords and then say things, and then they get caught sounding kind of dumb like Candace did. Now, people are human. They make mistakes. That's one of them. Israel is not an apartheid state. Right. And people who say that are just uninformed. It's like yeah. saying Gaza is the largest prison camp in the world. There hasn't been a Jew in, in Gaza since 2005. They were forcibly <laughs> evacuated. We talked about it. They dug up the cemeteries. They closed the schools. They closed the factories. Every Jew is gone. But yeah, but that's why they say it's a, they say it's an open air prison right. camp for, right. for, 
for Palestinians, which is the most idiotic, stupid statement ever made by someone who has a half a brain cell. If that's the case, Barry, that this that Gaza Strip is an open concentration camp, how come they can sneak rockets in, but they can't sneak people out? <laughs> if it's a prison, um, no one wants to live in a prison camp. So how come they can't sneak them out? They can't. It's like, they can't. I mean, they're not even thinking. Yeah, you can leave whatever you want. You can go to Jordan. You can go to Egypt. You can go to Saudi Arabia, whatever. And then on top of that, Israel was giving them visas, what, two million a day? Every one re- of them is allowed to leave if they want to leave. Yeah, two million a day were going into Israel from the Gaza Strip, working. Oh, yeah. I, they used to have p- work passes, and they'd line up at the border at 6 o'clock in the morning. By 7, they're at work, making a fortune. They make more in one day than they would make in a month in Gaza, working in the factories. Like, for example, you know that bubbly water big company, Madonna was endorsing them. That was a factory employing Arabs <laughs> where they were making more than the government officials were in Gaza. And what did the Palestinians do? The government insisted that the factory get closed and everybody lost their job. Wow. Sounds exactly. like AOC moved in. Sounds like it, except it's not Brooklyn. It's in Israel. Yeah. But same concept when she closed down Amazon. Yeah. Same yeah. Thing. Is it, yeah. Same thing. You know what? Let me say this really quick because I, I saw this last night where they were talking about the reason why a lot of the leftists here in the United States of America act the way they do towards the people in Israel is because a lot of the people in Israel, Barry, they perceive them as white people. And the people that are in the Gaza Strip, they perceive them as people of color. So, again, the people in the Gaza Strip, they're being oppressed, Barry. They're being oppressed by white people that live in Israel, Barry. This is the reason why that Israel needs to do a ceasefire and just allow their people to die because look, they have everything handed to them. They don't have any worries. They have the privilege, white privilege in this case. And the people of color in the Gaza Strip, they don't have anything, Barry. Well, let me let me <laughs> give you some facts on that. There's a great number of Ethiopian Jews who are blacker than, well, <laughs> blacker than night. They are black, black Africans. They are descendant from one of the tribes of Israel Mm -hmm. in the Bible. They're in the army, they're doctors, they're lawyers, they're in the Supreme Court, they're in government. That's not a very good apartheid system if you're letting black Africans have jobs, right? let alone be in the government. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos where they show the Israeli soldiers, and I'm like, I mean, it's like the, the color spectrum is all over the planet. What I'm looking at I'm like, wait my, a minute, but according to the left, it's just all white. One and of it's my not close, even the case. One of my close friends moved to Israel and his son married a gal he met in the army. She's from Ethiopia. Um, they have the most beautiful children. Um, he's my color, and she's way darker than you, and the babies are gorgeous. And they had an Ethiopian Israeli wedding in Hebrew. Hmm. And it's one big family. So people see that and they go, what? That's Israel? Yeah. Colorblind. Yeah. That's Israel. Every color, every religion, every sexual orientation, all those things are capital crimes if you cross the border into Gaza. Yep. Yeah.